India's craft beer scene is on fire. There's no denying. In Bangalore, the IT capital and major hub for youth culture, the flames dance a little higher and spread a little faster. Humble homebrewers working in IT are ditching their 9 to 5s to risk it for the biscuit and pursue this ancient art, while the number of microbreweries and well-established brew pubs have been on the steady up and up. Let's start our journey for truth here in Bangalore, the green city. Red Rhino Craft Brewery in Whitefield is a premier spot to tap the common man's ambrosia. This Christmas Eve, they released three amber gold guerrillas to add fuel to the fire of the hop war that's been breaking out, where IBU and IPA are the names that reign supreme. I was lucky to attend the event with a good friend and collaborator, John, from India's number one beer blog, Tales of Froth. John keeps it real hoppy and keeps busy with social events, consulting, blogging, and the like. I was willing to lend his expertise for our brew-related endeavors. So, first brew, New England IPA, but ask for the Napa. A full-bodied, creamy mouthfeel, citrusy due to the addition of citra hops and heavy on the nose. It's a well-balanced ale, perfect for those mildly summer-like Bangalore conditions. I went through three of these that same night and the Napa takes gold for me. The second beer that I tried was the West Coast IPA. The West Coast is rich in that amber maltiness and crisp hoppy bite that you'd expect from a fresh higher IBU ale. The brilliant concoction features a unique blend of dry hops to keep your nose busy while sipping and honestly just has the right amount of bitterness. The West Coast takes a close second for me and reminds me of a proper American IPA that I'd find at a brewery back home, somewhere between the Great Lakes. And the last brew I had that night was the Double IPA or the Deepa. For the adventurous, definitely take a crack at this strong ale. It's the nectar of the brave-hearted. Well, fair enough, it's just a beer, but it's a damn good one at that. It's rich in caramely malts and has candy-like flavors. Brewed with the infamous Columbus hops, prepare for hints of citrus in a dark brew that packs a punch. It's truly interesting to see India's palate change with time. Once akin to the sweeter and lower IBU cousins of the beers looked at today, it's a refreshing change in a scene that's growing as expected, but also with some adventurous tangents along the curved path that are uniquely Indian. I plan to dive deeper into the scene here in Bangalore over the coming months to investigate and to entertain. So join me along the journey.